So how can we make area problems more difficult? Well, they can tell us what the area is and then find the length. Classic SAT, right? They give us the answer that our teachers typically give us and kind of ask us to find the question, right? Almost like uh, the uh, Alex Trebek show, rest in peace, good sir. Uh, the length of the garden is to be five, he's designing a rectangular garden and the length, we'll just have this be our length, all right, is five feet longer than the width. So really it's W plus five. We don't know what the width is either, but they're telling us that the area is 104. Well, remember that area is found by multiplying length times width. So we can now just write this as, uh, well, it's length times width equals 104. But this doesn't help us because we have two variables and we only want one if we're gonna solve for it. So we can now replace L though with what we know it equals, which is W plus five. And once we have that, we end up with five w plus w squared equals 104 and then from there we can get 104 to the uh, we, we see here that we have the beginnings of a polynomial and a quadratic one at that so we know how to factor that that's probably going to be our best bet here so i'll rewrite this where it's w squared plus 5w minus 104 equals zero. It's minus 104 because I'm gonna bring this to the other side so that's all together. And you know you're gonna be factoring it. Um, so you wanna have it as your x squared plus five x, you know, your a squared plus b uh, with the variable there and then your c term without it. And then we ask ourselves, what are factors of 104 that also add up to five? And it's a bit funky, but it's negative 104. So we know that we want our, uh, bigger number to be positive uh, since we're starting to get a positive value here and we end up with 13 and negative 8. And uh, that means that we can now factor this as w plus 13, w minus 8, and these are equal to 0. Now, what's interesting is that we're going to end up with two widths here, right? Because we got to essentially, re we can rewrite this as this really, uh, where they both are equal to 0. And then we see that in one case, W equals negative 13, and then W also equals positive eight. Well, when we're thinking about a width, um, unless you wanna get like super like, uh, you know, science fiction-y, uh, or maybe real science, <laughs> um, we can't describe it as a negative. That's not gonna work for us. We know that the width must be eight, which is positive. Um, and here we go with width being eight, but that's not what they're asking. They're asking for the length, right? So maybe we made a mistake and forgot to add it to what the equation for length is, which is W plus five, and that equals uh, 13 when we replace that with eight.